just shut the f up. I'm better dive into deep. I miss you. How are you blaming Chastity? Look at the community. Please don't kill him. He and his t-shirt really need to tighten up. You can get used to that. Who that? Did we learn how to f from uncut? No, that's just me. I'm lying, there was a bottle of gold. Better introduce me. I love that a show could give me something new. We've seen that before, Tasha. Look at me now. Issa, I'm not mature enough for this. I like this for you. Damn, he snitched. Yo, Duke is me. The okay. white tears. Okay. Let's go, we can get our steps. Give me $20. Y'all making it out in the closet, Papa? Okay, come on to women. What up loves and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Donna Rizzo, as we are here to recap episode three of Max's Rap Shit. I just realized how biracial I look right now and I don't give a f today my hair day. I know y'all caught that last episode. If y'all did not watch episode two, go back and catch that now because that was the best episode of the series. I don't care what nobody says, judge your mama. My second best was the Spotify joint you know, and the cliff, it was a lot. I think that was episode four or five, but this one is not the next best. This takes the whole season. It takes the season because of the shock value, but it also takes the season because I don't remember ever feeling like this when watching a show. Like, have you ever had this? At least we, we never had that feeling, the embarrassment, the, the shock value, the like, I can't believe this, somebody do something for this girl, the Cassie Diddy, like, I've never had that feeling watching a show ever. And that was my first time watching something on TV and feeling that way, written. Cause you know, reality TV, I'd be like, damn, why your person up? But anyway, so big ups, because I love that a show, as much fucking TV as I watch, I love that a show could give me something new. We ended last episode with Obviously, Shauna getting the champagne sprayed on her. Duke being like, what the fuck did you say? Play your role. <laughs> Which, yes, but also, uh. And then Mia being like, look, I'm gonna go get you a towel because I still got a mothering, loving, you know, natural born feeling to like give a shit about people. And especially as someone who I did care about at one point. But my man, my man, my man is flying me out. So you did this to yourself, that's your bad. This doesn't negate the fact that you played us at the James Harden birthday party. So now you on your fucking own. So let's see where this takes us. If you guys did not see, I am on Twitter at, or X at Rizzo with Love. You can search me at From Rizzo with Love and you can find me on all things social media at From Rizzo with Love. But I did post on there everything from episode one, the intro clips. So you'll see a thread about that. There was one portion in the intro where they were riding down or somebody was riding down the road and you saw a sign and it said detour and it was pointing to cash. And then it said like reroute or dead end, whatever end or whatever it said for the rain and rain. Mia is taking a detour from the actual tour bus and going to cash's joint. She's also taking a detour from dealing with Shauna and Mia, which should be the group, which also, did y'all notice that Mia's name was mentioned first on the Rain and Rain joint? It's usually Shauna and Mia, but instead it was Mia and Shauna, cause you know, Mia's closer to Rain and Rain. Okay, cool. But yes, I'm really interested to see where this detour takes us. I did talk about the fact that I think she is going to do a song with him. It's gonna make Shauna feel a way. It's gonna make Lamont feel a way. I don't know about this new producer guy. I think we are gonna see more of him too. He had his shirt open, he had a little like sexy lips. I feel like some woman out there will eat that up. So they're probably gonna make him a recurring character. Oh, obviously, because they're gonna be on tour, he's going to be coming back around. But yeah, I don't know where we taking this. I don't know what happens. Like Mia and Shauna are still going to be on tour with this man who is, what was his name? Dip or something or Dat, whatever it was. But Shorty was like, that's one of my favorite songs. Like that's like, can you imagine going up to Jungle and being like, yo Jungle, you're one of my favorite artists. <laughs> Jungle is not an actual artist, y'all. That's just Nas brother. Like stop this. <laughs> Hi y'all, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your girl Donna Rizzo. Go back and you can see where I came from. Lifetime, on-air shows, hosting, correspondence, Kevin Frazier, Married at First, Insecure, Real Housewives of Potomac, Rap Shit, all of that good stuff. But here we are, we are about to recap live. So this is not like other recaps that you see on social media or on YouTube. This is not where I have already watched the show and I'm about to tell you what I saw and analyze characters or all of that good shit. What this is, is a live reaction recap. I know you 
you might see some people try to do that now but you know I hit it, I hit it first. So, what this is, is a live reaction recap. I will be posting snippets and clips here so you know what it is that we're referring to. But I want to watch the show along with you so you feel like you're in the moment watching with me. You can be like, yo, I saw that too. That's how I reacted. And I can point out some things that you might have missed. Please stay until the end of the episode because I do want you guys to engage in the comments. Big ups to the people engaging thus far. I really appreciate you. Y'all know this is not getting as as much as as much as much traction and exposure but i'm worried about the series let me just say that right now i think the promotion died down because of the strike and i am really needing this to ramp up i can see it in my engagement i can see it across the board so if you care about this show and if you're watching this make sure that you mention it just do a hashtag talk about it say something uh, post about it repost do something where this show is actually getting some more traction other places so that maybe people who you follow start watching or um if you're public especially they can actually see that people are talking about this show and we want another so do your part right we always talk about how we want more black women and black people doing x y and z we need to see more faces like us stories told by us we got to do the job as fans of the show and as consumers to make sure that this shit continues to get out here that means if you don't like some shit that's cool <laughs> But talk about this shit on the side. We got enough people talking shit about us. If it's not like detrimental and it's not hurting you or your community, talk about that shit in your house, on your private page, with your friends, or just, you know, not at all. And just change the fucking channel. All right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. Max's, I always want to say HBO Max. Max's Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 3. Let's go. How much they getting paid? Nothing. Oh, I missed the, it sounds like you need to step it up. Mm, Mia said, oh, well, you on your own. Why she say Singapore polyester? She made her Adidas outfit? Don't do that. You better reverse count. Oh, y'all be teaching your friends how to f I remember early on, my homegirl, this is like early, like lose your virginity days. My friend was like, girl, I'm about to say too much, but my friend was like, girl, you should just watch a porn and learn how to do it. Y'all, that, that's, a, cause who do you really learn this from? Nobody is teaching, you don't have like a mother teaching you how to fuck or a friend. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is, maybe did we learn how to fuck from uncut? That's crazy. I told y'all, y'all need to do your research. You know how doctors, once they become actual doctors, they are supposed to constantly look at new material. And you see that like there's some doctors who got old thought. I remember there's a police officer we were talking to about um, revenge porn for one of my friends. And he was like, what is that? I'm like, Nigga. he's like, oh, that must be a new law. No, that she came out five years ago, but you're not doing your due diligence. But whatever, I digress. <laughs> Here we are. This, this is how y'all learn? You know what, as I say that, I just went to a bachelorette party and just went around and was giving tips. Now there were no actual physical examples, but you know, to Easter, I'm lying. There was a bottle involved. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know how many people know that. Is that like why I know? I'm a Trina fan. I got a so big like the sun. Listen, hope you got a mouth. Okay, all right, that's too much. They're gonna block me. You know, I already get blocked enough because this says rap shit. Maybe that's why they're not getting the promo because I can't and promote i can't use a hashtag i can't even put rap uh sh upside down exclamation point t before i get flagged you know, jesus who thought of this look top you saw that i don't even know shorty real name that not one of them is chanelica but i don't really know shorty real name but tasha did that arch we seen that before tasha the bus spiraling down a plane first of all i don't like that because that looked like our promo that we use that was a quick intro though Okay, you know, if y'all are new here, I love a fucking text message. Two more Reese, on my way, you'll send me that recipe. We both know you not cooking shit. You know what, I'm wildin'. I thought this was when she went over to Maurice's house the other day and he had food that he said he cooked. But now he's saying that Shona not cooking, which I believe. Yesterday, I'm sorry to press you, shit is fuck, I miss you. Did I skip the part where she and Maurice became more than just I miss you. Also, we feel bad for Shauna, right? Shauna's stupid, but you know like stupid people? 
it's like dumb people who know better and do dumb shit, and then there's dumb people who just naive and ignorant and not like bad ignorant but ignorant as in like i'm just unaware that's shauna and i hate to be giving her some like leeway here because you too old for this shit and also you trying to be in a rap game you need really need to tighten up bitch. but i feel bad for her she ain't got nobody and i really think that's because of how she was raised that has been very like family oriented and they said she was corny and she's always been like doing the right thing and so her veering off the path to not go to college was like the first rebellious thing that she ever did and now here she is just like alone she has no one to talk to about this she just went through probably the most embarrassing the most traumatic moment of her life which could be second to getting arrested or detained and she has no one to talk to about it that's crazy you good oh wait she said that i miss you yesterday and he didn't respond and this is just thumbs up the you good Real? Yeah, he for real. Your balance has dropped below $25. We've all been there. And we've all screenshotted that, right? So that we can post and say, I was just here X years ago. Look at me now. No, that's just me? Okay. I gotta go back, cause this ain't pregnant. This ain't pregnant. Her titty sore. She just got her period, I hope, right? Fuck. Damn, her period done. I, I know we passed that. But her period done went through her shits. She's on a fucking tour bus. And that's the bed that she likely has to sleep in. Those are the fucking twin extra smalls. <laughs> the, the, not even twin. I don't know what the fuck those are. Oh, she's just having worst day after worst day after worst day. But at least she's not pregnant. Yeah, we have Come on, Miracle with the poster girl doll shirt. How, how you trying to manage when you trying to manage? Who has is that? We like that. Ah, that's Cash's house. You see, I like that house because it's not too much. It's just enough, you know what I'm saying? We could get to all of the rooms. We're not wasting space. The cleaner can come, maybe just three people. It's not doing too much. This hummy. Oh, you play the piano? No, that's for sure. What? Oh, hell. You see, we didn't get much of his character uh, before, so we didn't really know who he was. But damn, he said, why do you ask if I play the piano? Because she's looking at it in your house. You know what it's giving? It's giving the fact that I have a bunch of records hung up. It's people say, do you have a record player? My business. Mm, mm. Nah. Wow. Did I love her? Did they oh. He done put the roses out or his manager did it. Okay. Oh, okay, we like this. He done set up dinner outside. Just the two of them, okay. Look, look at Camille. I'm gonna go call my man real quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I talked to him. This guy. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is I think this is somebody's husband, and this is sucking on a titty. I know God only give his shit to the, the toughest. I ain't that tough. I ain't that tough. Now for me to be on set, watch my neck. A titty in his mouth that ain't mine. Oh god. Put your face in my She about to do this shit. <laughs> Issa, I'm not mature enough for this. Ooh. I know this is supposed to be a sexy run. She said, I love that. He said, nah, we not doing that shit. We not doing no quick hit her. Uh I'm gonna take my time with you. Me, I don't know what hit her. This man about to be her boyfriend. Mm, these are good scenes. Y'all know I love a little belly moonlight moment. You know I'm immature, so I had to talk a lot during that scene. It's only because y'all watching me watch the scene and like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you like that. Shona can't be giving Duke all of this. Like that was, that's the most you're gonna get. Duke responds almost like men do. But that's the most like love and appreciation of the you okay, let me rub your back that Shona is gonna get from anyone right now because Duke is in it with her. She felt bad for that moment, but like I asked if you were okay. We on the same team. I'm sorry. What you thought, Duke? Don't get me sure. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shona just ran away from that moment. Oh, her balance is low, so she gotta steal shit. You doing the most? Okay. Wait, this supposed to be Shay Diddy. This supposed to be Tasha K? But it's a radio station, but it looks like a podcast joint. Hmm. 106 K Mel. 
hip hop and R&B. Do I need to do some research as to what shows are in Miami? Okay. Isn't Miss Diddy from Miami? You know what I hate seeing? I hate seeing rain and rain and shit that I have done to my hair. <sighs> so crack is fun. Crack's not fun. Wait, she's calling her out on this shit. Good. Look at the shit sticking out your titties, sis. Look at this. I okay, love Chastity's Newport. shirt. Since you gonna try to steal some ice cream? Oh, so they all stealing. You just stole from the front where you know that a camera is? Shauna gonna get too up too. Look at Shauna. My bad, man. I Duke. Here I am thinking, oh, she's like, I'm gonna steal. If Shauna is stealing and getting away with it, I'm gonna do the same thing. This whole time. Yo, Duke got some foresight that most ain't got. Apparently most But Duke got some foresight that these ain't got. They need her around. Do they need her around as a manager? I don't know, but they need her around. Sure. Whole truck driver? Shauna, you don't even know how to do this shit right. You being so uptight. Ooh, can we look at the photos? These family photos? She in his t-shirt. We can get used to that. I got some stuff to do while I'm in That's right, that's right. That's right, Mia. Oh, you doing all that? You think I'm gonna just lay in the house and just wait for you? Nah, I'm busy too. But bring the masseuse. Okay. He know. I'm taking you out tonight. He appreciates it though. She's so trying not to act excited for this. And I, I like this for you. She gonna Everything. cook for him? Damn, he snitched. He snitched on everybody. You're not saying what I think you are. That's Where's exactly what we're saying. God, and he's putting God. it on. You're still on that shit, God. See, so now he's second guessing Shauna too. Stanley, that was a weak push. Or Maurice, she was bracing for that. Let's start. We can't be late over. I have a feeling these gonna get kicked off the tour early. They not doing the whole country. They are gonna do West Coast, maybe something in, and then they are gonna be back in Miami. Not only for production value, but like it's good for the show. I'm get our steps in. Yo, Duke is me. Let's go, we can get our steps in. I don't have any. Yeah, what the f are you doing? You ain't got no money. Wait, wait. Proud boys just tried to f More like Duck Dynasty. I hate this. Y'all know how every time people get in the car, they wanna be like, like, let's say my head joint is over here. People want to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I was just, <laughs> I was doing this and had to go to the back just so that you could see the logo. You know what the version of that is? Well, n that too. I only have like 80 people who are watching this. So what's the likelihood that the 80 people will know what I'm talking about? I have a friend who got married. Let's start over. I have an associate who got married because it's not a friend I would have been at the wedding. And there was a celebrity at his wedding. And I saw other niggas who I'm associates with as well posting him at his wedding. But it was really the You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you're supposed to be here for your mans. Why are you so focused on showing this you think that's gonna get you? Cause you know the only reason to do shit is to get vagina, right? You know that? Did you know that? Oh, okay, cool. So I, let's go back here. But I'm really just going to Starbucks to take a shit. That's time. <laughs> she said, I'm really just going to Starbucks to take a shit. Did y'all see the Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco? Or was it Terrell Owens? Now I forget, cause he's had both of them on his podcast. I forget what po which podcast it was. No, it was Terrell No, I don't remember, but. Shannon Sharp was like how he don't want his taking a shit in the house. He could be married, living with a joint, and she got a shit somewhere else. What? What type of conservative shit or whatever is this? That's wild. It was kind of weird too, cause cause he like you. You know what is Tasha's shirt like? She got them two big pockets. I need to see more of this. Cause we can't let no good nigga go to waste. Yeah, watch out for her. I'm just kidding. Watch out for her. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't even make no jokes about my n I don't like that. Shauna, put both your straps on. I know the color scheme look good like this. Well, yeah, it's better for your back. And you got big teeth. Why we do that? Why we put our phone up as if the signal is going to get it now? Two feet lower and higher. Why we do that? Okay, I like this. Mia used the connection that she had with Courtney 
and actually linked him with Lamont. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure where that was going. Hey, girl. Who that? You, put you can't be mad. You can't be mad that you, your, your baby daddy who you put to the side is now talking to somebody else. You made that decision, sis. She don't miss you no more, sis. I appreciate them for shedding light on the Haitian culture because it's so big in Miami. We already had a date. No, no, no. You see, this look like this look at my Christmas right now. I done told my family we need to do a secret Santa because it's too many kids and none of them have come out my vagina. Kids ain't asking for video games or or action figures. They asking for Jordans and they wear sizes that are bigger than mine. So you know, it's like what the. You about to kill him? He gonna kill his cousin? Shauna, y'all, I'm gonna punch you in the face. How are you blaming Chastity? You know what the problem is? There's nobody else around for her to blame, and so she's putting it on Chastity. But let me tell you right now, I don't care if that's the reason why. I don't care if there's some trauma in your past that's causing you to black out on me. I'm not the one. It's not supposed to be this fucking hard. It's gotta be a sign. Did you think you was just gonna get signed and become a multi-million dollar artist and like... She was just gonna fall in your lap? The f The gravel? This gravel? Go! Shut the f up, oh, Shauna. Shauna, shut the f up! You're doing this to me! Oh the gosh. white tears. I'm gonna get the f on. I just had this conversation with somebody because I said, you did something wrong. You can't be sad about it. You did something wrong and it affected me. I'm not crying. I'm just telling you very sternly we need to get this shit in order. I don't like how this went down. Let me tell you here the issues that you have. Let me show you what you did wrong and let's move the fuck on. You coming back and crying to me about it? That's a, I don't want that. Cause now I'm mad at you for crying too. I'm mad at you for fucking up. I'm mad at you for not doing this. And now I'm mad at you for crying. Now, am I supposed to appease you and, and rub your back while you cry after you did me wrong? Like, fuck out of here. Is that Jack Harlow? Yo, I like Jack Harlow's new song. I don't give a it's fun music. We oh, got more pink and green. What is this pink? Oh, is this because of Miami? So the whole color scheme is pink and green this year? Um. Oh, shit. That art in the back. That's not um, Kehinde Wow. Who is that? Come on, black. <laughs> not six black. Introduce me. Nigga. Oh, he said good to see you again to me. Uh, Marta better come up with a sponsorship. Y'all love black people. I love you for that. Is that a Carisha shirt? That baby girl shirt? <laughs> You got your own shit. Even though Mia like, I don't have my own shit, but Why? you don't need to know that. <laughs> Y'all think Aida, Aida, whatever, is playing this role? Or you think this is really her? Cause she played this awkward so fucking well. Like Jonica, this Jonica. Mia, that's Mia. <laughs> this woman. It's come to me. Yo, Y'all hungry? Go get some yeah. oranges. In the hood, always want to move out to the country. <laughs> you know what that is a lot, though. A lot of times, it's shared spaces, whether like in your house, in your home, or just a bunch of people there, or just being cramped in a city and everybody living on top of one another. That's like I don't want to say that's a trauma response, but you want to have your own for the very first time. I was, I was having, <laughs> I'm having a lot of conversations. I was having a conversation with a friend, and he was like, "Yo, you know, the very first time that I had my own room was college," and I was like. Look at that. That's a reality for a lot of us. I thank God that's not my reality. I truly think they built another wall in my house to make me another room. Now, if you do this, if you six foot and do this, you can go from end to end in my room. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, stop since I was a kid. Yeah, see? Damn. Y'all better dive into Duke. Me he tricked her out? Okay, that's good. She wasn't in the business like that. She was in the business in terms of like bringing in which hopefully it was like on their own terms okay, 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 okay. she came from a good <laughs> home and let's not say good because you know what that's my bad we tend to equate a two a uh, two parent home to be a good home just because you got two parents in the house that don't mean it's good it could be two times the trauma the struggles the all of that shit so it can be two times worse than it is for a single parent home so let's not say that so the whole time you was judging me Facts. Yeah. She was over there judging Duke what she was doing by wrangling hoes. Meanwhile, she was just behind the counter doing it in a different way. Facts. If he got charged, I thought so, but up next is the snitch. Oh, Thank you, Duke. Yeah. Keep uh, him close. <laughs> she said, "What else? Uh, he doesn't eat meat." <laughs> Shut up. Cash chaser. You know, I keep calling cash. Hey. She like that's my man. Oh my God. You better introduce me. 
Women in the club, give me twenty dollars. Give me twenty dollars. Y'all making out in the club in public? They go to motel from the sign. Y'all sleeping on one bed? Been there. Okay, dearest Shauna from her lawyer. Bad news, Maurice is facing federal charges. This often happens when an ongoing investigation uncovers a much larger criminal enterprise or if the local federal prosecutor has created a task force to crack down on fraud in the area. Uh, Rico. Okay, no. Uh, in which case, your friend is likely being swept as collateral damage. Federal charges are much, much harder to fight and they come with significantly longer sentences. I placed a few phone calls to my folks at the prosecutor's office to figure out what's going on and I'll let you know as soon as I learn more. In the meantime, continue to keep your distance and try to remain positive. I'll be in touch. Love, Uncle Marsh. Okay, first of all, I was gonna say, <laughs> how does she get money for a lawyer? But it's her uncle, damn. Also, thank you, Uncle, for being there for me after my parents cut me off. As long as you stay a step or two ahead of everything, you gonna be all right. Right. You got this show. You gonna call him? He said keep your distance though. Hmm. Keep him close. Didn't I say that? I said that from jump. Shauna, I hope you only over there to figure out what he knows. She knew about the game because the father was happy. Mia, you better have a love story. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yo, that's a that's a fucking parallel for life. You be in your zone in a happy place, then all of a sudden. <laughs> Oops, there goes gravity. She right. Mm -hmm. She wrote, mm -hmm. got him to this uh -huh. Please don't kill him. See, he's second he's guessing it. He's, see? Oh, you sorry? You sorry because you gave me up? He gonna record her. They say keep your fucking distance, my Directed by Lawrence Lamont. Who wrote this shit? I'm gonna give you your flowers too. And y'all better stop. Max, stop minimizing this shit. I wanna see it. Aziza Barnes. Why can I not read fast? Your first name. It's a duo though, okay? Aziza Barnes and Akila Green. Okay, come on two women. Hey, hey, okay. All right, I f this. I f with this episode, y'all. Can I make a confession? My confession is I promoted this show because it's Issa Rae and it's black women. That was first season. I said, no matter what, I'm gonna stick beside her. But this season, this show really good. That's all I'm gonna say. Hi right, y'all, what is my question for this episode? Hmm. Ooh, easy. How do you get out of the got him? Or got him, right? Mia meant to send got him to her group chat and her friends, but instead she sent it to Cash Chaser. What are you saying? How are you responding to get out of that? Because it looks bad. And even if she makes up some kind of lie, it can, can be seen by him as like, this trying to lie to me now. What are you saying to have it not get to that point? Got him, got what? How are you responding? It has to be quick in the moment and it gotta make sense. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me for this live recap of Max's Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 3 with me, your girl Donna Rizzo. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting a notification to take my vitamins right now. Also, send blessings, love, and prayer to me because I do have a quick little surgery. I'm, I'm putting my juniors on ice in the meantime. Well, half of my juniors on ice in the meantime, but minor details. If I do not speak to you before, then have a great, great holiday. Spend time with your family, friends, giving love, support, all the joy and honor and blessings and comfort and peace and everything to people who are spending this time without a loved one this year for the very first time. Um, sending you love and prayer and all of that good stuff. Also, if it's your second time, you know what I'm saying? Grief is an ongoing process, so I hear you, I see you. It's very real, and I want you to take your time. I will see you guys next week, but I will also only see you next week if you subscribe. So do not grieve the loss of From Rizzo with love, because I will be back, but I'll be grieving you if you have not subscribed. See you guys next week, and please always remember that everything that I have said has been From Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.